There was a special Valentine's Day visit for residents of the All Saints Anglican Church Gordon Home for the Elderly. Attorney General Anand Ram Logan stopped by. Peter Christopher was on hand as the AG handed out roses and spoke of the importance of showing love to the elders of our society. Happy Valentine's. Right? This is our rose for the people in your room so you're going to remember me. Valentine Day roses and kisses were given out in abundance today. But at the All Saints Anglican Church's Gordon Home for the Elderly on Woodford Street, it was the Attorney General Anand Ram Logan who was sharing the love. The Attorney General decided to join the youth group youths on a mission during their visit to the home after being inspired by a visit to his own ailing mother earlier in the day. That was something that struck a personal chord in me because my own mother is, um, is bedridden because of a stroke. And um, this morning I paid her a visit and she was so happy to see me and I gave her a rose and it lit up, it, the way it lit up her face, I thought if I could replicate that and multiply it on um, the faces of other um, parents, then that would be a wonderful um, day, for, day for them. So we've come here and um, the youth, we've come to bring some cheer and bring a smile at least for Valentine's Day to let them know that they are not forgotten. E.G. Ram Logan hopes that his actions today will inspire more youngsters to reach out to the elderly. He believes the practice could only strengthen the moral fabric of the nation. You know, simple things like if you plant something in the ground, I was taught when I was growing up, just your, your, your whole, your hand in the dirt, planting something and watching it grow, connecting with little children and connecting it with the elderly. Those things, they have a way, it has a way of bringing you back down to earth and keeping your heart planted in the right soil, in the right place. And, you know, it, it always brings you um, blessings and happiness in life. Organizer of the event and head of the youth group, Nicholas Morris, says it's all about showing appreciation for the elderly in our country. And the reason for doing it is because you all are our parents, because you only want to lay the foundation for this lovely society which we, the young people, have now inherited. And it is very important and pertinent of us to pay our respects and also celebrate with you all a great moment as Valentine's Day. So again, on behalf of the youth of Toronto Tobago, we thank each and every one of you all for the commitment that you have given to our society and make it a beautiful place. Again. The residents of the home were not only treated to roses, kisses, cake and other delicacies, but they were also serenaded by Soka Chatli singer Ravi B. Peter Christopher, C News.